Hi guys, so it's Wednesday, that means you get a video from me. Uh, what I thought I would do would be to let you know what's coming out in June that I'm excited for. So every month around this time I like to take a look at Goodreads or Fic Fact and find out what books are coming out next month that I want to read. So um, I thought I would make a list for you guys and show you what I'm excited for. Then you can all tell me what you're excited for. Just two things. The first is that I'm a little sick so maybe my voice sounds a little funny and that's why. Um, the second thing is that I didn't include any continuation of series. Series, so I only chose either the first of a series or a standalone novel, so that's why uh, maybe there's some series out there that you guys enjoy that I didn't add to the list, okay? So the first book is called This Is Not a Test. It's by Courtney Summers, and it's coming out June 19th. It's basically about these students who are holed up in a high school. Um, there's dead people banging on the doors, so obviously there's zombies or risen dead. And the, the main character is Sloane Price, so she doesn't really mind if she dies or not because her life has gonna, kind of gone downhill in the last few months or so, so she doesn't really care. But then the five people that she's with, they obviously do want to live, and so she kind of starts seeing things through their point of view. And, um, yeah, so maybe she changes her mind. I really like zombie books and zombie movies, so I thought that this one would be uh, good to check out. The next one is Shadow and Bone. It's the first in the Krishna trilogy, and it is by Lee Bardugo. It comes out June 5th. Um, this all takes place in Ravka, which is this place that's in the middle of a war. And um, their fate, or their destiny, is kind of le le uh, landing in the hands of Alina, who just seems to be a normal girl, but when her regiment is attacked and her best friend is dying, sh this power comes out that she didn't really know about. She has to go and train with these Grishna, the magical elite of her country, and uh, they're led by the Darklings. So that sounds uh, like it could be interesting, and I've heard good things about it in YouTube and on Goodreads as well. The next one I chose was The Chosen Ones. It's the first in the Lost Soul series. Uh, this is by Trif Tiffany Truitt, and it comes out June 12th. So this is about um, the future. It's a 16-year-old girl named Tess, and she lives in what used to be known as the United States, but is now just a decimated area after World War IV. So uh, now in this future, women can't reproduce any longer. So they've made these chosen ones, or these artificial humans, to kind of take over. And they're very beautiful, very strong, and very deadly. So she works at this plant, or facility, um, for these chosen ones, and then ends up falling for this chosen one named James, who has a love for music and reading. So this one sounds like it could be uh, something new, something interesting as well. Uh, the next one I picked was Midsummer's Nightmare by Cody Keplinger, and this one comes out June 5th. So it basically is about this girl, her name is Whitley Johnson, and she goes to spend the summer with her dad. Um, she's thinking she's going to have this relaxing summer, but when she gets there, her dad's fiancé and her children are there as well. And she realizes that the fiancé's son is the guy that she had a one night stand with on her graduation night. So that could be interesting. It kind of reminded me a little bit of Clueless when I read the when I read the blurb, um, which is a great movie. So I thought that this one would be interesting as well. Um, we'll have to see what it is when it comes out. And I just like to look at the cover as well. Uh, the next one is called Monument 14. It's uh, Really, I don't know that much about it, but it's by Emmy L Laybourne. Uh, it is a bunch of kids, 14 kids that are holed up in this superstore, and outside these uh, disasters are happening, earthquakes and tornadoes and stuff like that. Um, this one comes out June 5th, and it's her debut novel. It looks interesting as well. The next one is called Flirting in Italian. It's by Lauren Henderson, and it's out June 12th. This one is about four girls who go to Italy to spend the summer, and they flirt with cute Italian boys. What better than a summer in Italy? That could be a dream summer right there. It sounds really cute, and the cover looked cute as well, so yeah, definitely going to check that one out. Uh, the next one is called Reunited by Hilary Weissman Graham, and this one is out June 12th. So this is about three best friends who are now ex-best friends. They were in love with this band called Level 3, and when the band broke up, their friendship kind of 
went separate ways as well. So they realize that the band is getting back together for one reunion show, and so they buy tickets and decide to do a road trip 2,000 miles to go see this show. So I think this one kind of sounds interesting. It kind of reminds me a little bit about my high school situation. Um, you know, I think it's going to be interesting, and I'm definitely going to check that one out for sure. Um, the next one I chose was called My Life in Black and White by Natasha Friend, and it's out June 28th. So this is about a girl who's really beautiful, um, her whole life she's been beautiful, but she gets into a car accident and her face is now scarred, and she's not really sure how to live, um, when she's not beautiful. So she has to figure out how to learn to be more than just a pretty face. Um, the next one is called Between the Lines by Jody Picot and Samantha Van Leer. This one's out June 26th, and it is about this girl, Delilah. She's a book nerd, or a loner. She kind of spends her time in the library um, looking at books, and especially this one fairy tale called Between the Lines. So in the fairy tale, there's this Prince Oliver, and she spends her time talking to Oliver, and all of a sudden, the character starts speaking back to her. So they kind of um, have this plot to try to get him out of the book. So this one is sounds good. I've read Jodie Co in the past, and I liked her, so hopefully this one won't be just as good. Uh, the next one is called Smart Girls Get What They Want by S Sarah Strohmeyer, and this one's out June 26th. This is about three girls who are basically best friends in high school, and they are overachievers. So they know that their life in high school isn't really important. It's going to become better when they get into these Ivy League schools that they want to go to. But then something happens, and they realize that they're missing out on their high school um, experiences. So they make this pact to kind of conquer their greatest challenges. I think it will be good. Divine Intervention by Martha Brokenbrow. Um, it's out June 1st. This is about a guardian angel. So Jerome is Heidi's guardian angel, and he he's kind of an angel in training, and is kind of about to get kicked out of his program. And Heidi is she's an artist, but she is kind of playing basketball just because she's really tall, and the school kind of like forced her into it. Um, so these the two of them come together when something really bad happens, and then they have to try to figure out how to make it right. Uh, the next one is called Just Flirt by Laura Bowers. How can you go wrong with a book called Just Flirt? And the, the cover looks cute as well. Um, it comes out June 19th. It's about two girls. So the first one is called Dee Barton, and she has this plan to um, basically spend the entire summer flirting with cute guys at her parents' campground. And then the second girl is Sabrina Owens, and her plan is to just be the best girlfriend to her boyfriend. They're kind of a nemesis or arch enemies, and they're kind of brought together when this lawsuit happens, and they have to try to find a way to set things right. I chose The One by Heather Self, and it's... Uh, the first in a Portal trilogy. It sounded really interesting. I'm going to just read a little bit of the blurb. Stranded on Earth for 4,000 years, they have waited for the one to save her or to kill her. With her birth, ancient prophecy could at last be fulfilled. And the doorway opened. Evelyn is 17 years old, and she's always been on the move, which she hates. Since her parents believe she is the one, she believes they, that this place called... Leadville, Colorado, is her place to be normal, or at least as normal as someone who can be when they're not human. So, um, this, like I said, is the first in a trilogy, and it sounded really interesting, so, and the cover looks super cool as well. Um, um, the last one I picked was called The Vindico by Wesley King. It is out June 14th, and it is about um, supervillains, a group of supervillains who fight these um, heroes called the uh, League of Heroes. So they're basically getting a little older. They know that they're not going to be doing this for very much longer, so they kidnap a group of teenagers to try to get them to take over the business. And these teenagers are given superpowers, and they're trained by the mentors 
to try to, you know, fight these heroes. But they kind of want to escape, and they kind of try to decide, you know, what's right, what's good, what's evil, and they realize that it's not as black and white as it uh, they thought that it was. So those are the books that I'm excited for in June. What are you guys excited for? What do you think is going to be good? Um, let me know in the comments below. Um, check me out on my blog, Goodreads, Facebook, and Twitter. Thanks, guys.